What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're going to talk about the create new face option uh, when you use the push-pull tool. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So um, you probably know that when you work in SketchUp and uh, you activate a tool, down at the bottom here it'll give you a list of options that that tool, um, that tool contains. So in this case, if we activate the push-pull tool, we can tap that P key or click on the push-pull icon over here. And um, basically what this says is it gives you instructions on what to do. So pick two points or drag to push and pull a face. Whoops. So you can click and drag right here to create a face or you can click once and then click again to push-pull that face. Well, what this has is it has an option in here that says control equals toggle new starting face. And basically what that means is if you're push-pulling a face like this one, for example, if I push-pull it one inch and then I push-pull it again, you can see how you don't really retain anything from that push-pull that you did. So I push-pulled it once to an inch and let's say I wanted to push-pull it again another inch. Well, what you can do if you tap that control key is that'll start a brand new face up at the top right here. So you can see how when I tap the control key, this line kind of stays in there. And basically that means that SketchUp started a brand new face when it push-pulled this. So now if I extrude this an inch, you can see how I've got a distinct box down here and a distinct box up here. So, and what that does is that gives you a whole bunch of different options. Like for example, if I was to just pull this right here and then if I wanted to extrude something along this face, then I'd have to draw another box along it just like this. Uh, if I use create new starting face mode and I tap the control key like this, now I've got a face that I can already push pull. And so then you can come in and you can either leave that on and just keep doing the same thing this way, or you can turn it off and uh, kind of widen this face just like this. So, and what I could do here is I could go ahead and push pull this again, but then now I could come in here and I could start working on this face right here. So I could either bring my mouse out or I could tap the control key and start a brand new face right here. If I start my brand new face, what I can do is I can start coming out this way and you can see how it makes a difference because if I don't do that in create new face mode, then your geometry kind of merges so like if I was to just pull this push, or if I was just to push pull this right here, you can see how my geometry kind of merges together right there. But if I do it in create new starting face mode, I can create this new piece out here and I can just keep moving things around just like that. So it really does give you a whole lot of different options for what you can do in here. And here's another example. I actually used this in a video last week, but I was creating a chair that kind of had a uh, like a swivel chair, like a barbershop chair. And so what I did is I extruded the base right here, but then I used create new starting face mode, just like this to create a new face. And then I used the scale tool to scale this face down. And then I push pulled this up the rest of the way. So now you've got this kind of adjustable, adjustable cylinder looking shape right here. So, and you can do that with a lot of different faces. So like for the, for example, if I was to do that on this one right here, and use this in a create new starting face mode just like this. You can see how I came in here and I created a whole bunch of new faces. Well, now I can come in here with the scale tool and I can start messing around with those a little bit. So I can bring that in just like this. And then I've got this piece that I can move around. I can scale this one out a little bit on one side or on two sides. So you can really use that to create a lot of cool like tapering kind of shapes. So, and I'll give you one more example. So if I was to take this right here and I was to push pull it a couple different times and create, we'll call these a half inch. So if I was to go in and create a whole bunch of half inch faces in here with create new face mode, just like this, and probably what you could do is create a couple of them and then use the move tool to create a copy up a couple times, so times three, for example. Well, what you can do is you can come in here and you can select all this different geometry, 
just like this so you can select your alternating lines so what you could do is you could select all these different lines like this and then you could hold control and shift to uniformly scale these about center and then you could kind of scale them out to create this kind of ridge shape right here so if you're kind of creative with what you do with this there's a whole lot of different things you can do um, using the create new face mode with the push pull tool so I just wanted to give you an intro to create new starting face mode in SketchUp. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you know this was here? Have you been using it? Uh, what are some of the applications that you use this for? I'd love to have that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, to help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.